Pete, you there? It's probably nothing. It sounded like bike engines, riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. sound like like yourself it's not it's nothing you know i just let this drifter get the drop on me lucky for me she was uh out of ammo you let her go didn't you okay yeah fuck yes yes i let her go one of these days deke that code of yours is gonna get you killed yeah well something's gonna do it right does it matter what deacon out Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right, someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Son of a bitch, I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit, I think it's just... I'm going a little stir crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Dick and out. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get in shape. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, shit's killing me. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down, and I've restored your radio uplink. Copy that. You may not see the value in St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> now, Cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're about that. Pull it out. Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? Who's man? You awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. It might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Dick it out! Who's man? You were right. They set up one of the railroad tracks. Kill every one of these sons of bitches. Hey, that was kind of the plan. Dick it out. Get out! 
Stop moving. Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke, I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, Booze, man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, Boozer. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Deke, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp, clear out those nests. I've been seeing more freaks up here. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, 
I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the nest, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Deke. Uh, Deke, wait till tonight. Be fewer birds inside those nests. Or take them out while it's still There'll be more. more bounties. Deke! Oh, god damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Manny said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. None taken. I'll find him. say you were heading north? Who's man now? Deke, you there? D did you say you were heading north? Who's man now? No, I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Third degree burns will do that. Yeah, yeah. So, take care of Alvarez, you know. Means a lot to me. Take care of her, loser. I want that blows up real good. This is it. Yeah. Oh, this camp is gonna be crawling. Uh, yeah. Going on foot. Nice and quiet. Yeah, I do need some. Deacon out. Okay. Oh, there's gotta be a nest in this shack. More in here? Yep. This is Radio Free Oregon. I'm Truth. She'll set you free. Remembers the skinheads of this great country. People live in the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country. Only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, we trust in each other. The feds were never going to give us that. And you? You want our trust? You gotta earn it. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Alright. Fire in the 
something out of this. A can of fuel.
go. Okay. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. God damn it. What you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Is that the last of them? Finally. Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go with her? With her a lot of them? Yeah, but I wanted to clear him while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers him. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way to do it. Right, anyway, well, thanks for, thanks for doing that thing. <sighs> Get some shut-eye, Boozer. Deacon out. John, this is Copeland. I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to do runs for me, is all. I know you ride with him. Tried to radio him, can't seem to reach him. Well, you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello. 